The union cabinet chaired by the Prime Minister meets at regular intervals and takes decisions with a focus on giving impetus to India's development across sectors. Let's have a quick glance at the significant decisions approved by the Union Cabinet during October 2024. The Union Cabinet has approved the establishment of the National Mission on Edible Oils Oil Seeds for the period 2024-25 to 2030-31 with a financial outlay of over Rs 10,000 crore. The mission aims to achieve self-reliance in oil seed production, increasing domestic output from 39 million tonnes in 2022-23 to 69.7 million tonnes by 2030-31. The Union Cabinet approved to confer the status of classical language on Marathi, Pali, Prakrit, Assamese and Bengali languages. The initiative will promote academic research and cultural awareness. The classical languages serve as a custodian of Bharat's profound and ancient cultural heritage, embodying the essence of each community's historical and cultural milestone. The Union Cabinet approved Rs 1,000 crore venture capital fund for the space sector under the Indian National Space Promotion and Authorization Centre. The fund is expected to support approximately 40 startups over five years, with annual investments ranging from Rs 150 to Rs 250 crore. It will focus on capital infusion, retaining companies in India and boosting technology development, ultimately driving job creation and strengthening India's position in the global space economy. The Union Cabinet has approved the increase in minimum support prices for Rabi crops for the marketing season 2025-26. This decision aims to ensure remunerative prices for farmers, with the highest increase in MSP announced for rapeseed and mustard at Rs 300 per quintal, followed by lentil, masoor at Rs 275 per quintal. For gram, wheat, safflower and barley, there is an increase of Rs 210 per quintal, Rs 150 per quintal, Rs 140 per quintal and Rs 130 per quintal respectively. This initiative supports the government's commitment to providing MSP at least 1.5 times the cost of production, promoting crop diversification and supporting farmers' livelihoods. The Union Cabinet has approved two railway projects worth Rs 6,798 crore to be completed in five years. They include the doubling of Narkatya Ganj, Raksol, Sitamari, Darbhanga section and a new line between Erapulam and Namburu routes. These projects aim to enhance connectivity, ease travel and minimize logistics costs while generating approximately 106 lakh human days of employment. The two projects covering eight districts in three states, that is, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana and Bihar, will increase the existing network of Indian railways by about 313 kilometres. The decisions taken by the Union Cabinet are a reflection of the Union Government's efforts and commitment towards achieving the goal of an Atmanirbhar Bharat.